Hey everyone, it's Angel again. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have jumped on the bandwagon, y'all. I got myself a Midori, and um, so that's what I want to talk about in today's video. I had been, um, I've never been a planner kind of girl. Um, I've always been interested in the Midori. Well, not always, but I've been interested in um, the Traveler's Notebook kind of community and like the the system you know the format of a traveler's notebook um as a journal i've always been interested and um i could never really think to myself you know i really need that i have to have that um especially since essentially um you know basically what i told myself is you know i'm paying for i'm basically paying for you know a piece of leather and an elastic you know and uh you know and it comes with one insert and um i had been seeing them on amazon uh, kind of going lower in the price uh recently this one i got for 32 dollars or around 32 dollars this is the standard uh midori size um and i got it in camel i mean i don't have to like if 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 you're familiar with midori then this isn't going to um you know surprise you much anything that i'm gonna say it's wonderful i'm so happy that i got it um um, but one of the reasons why it took me so long to, you know, uh, convince myself that I would get one or that I really, really needed one was uh, most of the artists that I follow, um, they're also, uh, you know, planners, you know, in the planner community. There's a huge, huge uh, planner community. I'm not a planner kind of girl. Um, I... <sighs> I think it's it just involves too much organization for me and it feel it feels like kind of like a job kind of um i do write things down that i need to remember um in a notebook um i don't plan to use this um as like a planner or a reminder i got this because um my drawing skills i i really really want to improve upon my drawing skills i have neglected um working on my drawing skills for so many years because um, I've just been lazy, you know? I like to paint and, I, you know, every teacher that I've ever had, every painting teacher that I've ever had has always said, you know, it's always best to draw at first, do a thumbnail or, you know, do a quick sketch of whatever it is you wanna paint so that you can study what the values are and I'd be like, no, that's too much work. I want immediate gratification. <laughs> but my drawing skills have really declined um, I've never been, you know, the best at drawing, but I've always been able to, uh, you know, to draw okay. You know, I was always a decent drawer. I could at least make, you know, whatever I was, whatever I was drawing, it was at least, you know, um, recognizable. Um, but my drawing skills have really declined. I have really neglected, you know, working at it because <laughs> I've been lazy and, um, for a long time i wanted to make a sketchbook you know like a, a journal just for sketching but i thought if i spend the money on something really nice and i tell myself like no i have to work in it because um i spent the money i don't like the, i don't like wasting money i i really don't and so i knew that if i bought one of these um that i would use it just because i spent the money on it and um you know it would kind of inspire me to uh you know to bring it with me since it is so nice and it does match you know my current favorite pair of shoes <laughs> um i just thought that it was a good idea and i really really enjoy uh watching even though i'm not a planner and i don't use this as a planner uh, i don't plan to um I really enjoy watching how other people's uh, travel travelers notebooks um, evolve. I, you know, I watch a lot of uh, of artists who have, you know, a Midori or a Fedori or, um, you know, one of the Chic Sparrow, uh, you know, their travelers notebooks. But I, I went ahead and I got the, you know, the uh, actual travelers notebook brand. Um, and this is, I just put this button, this is just like a random button. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. I'm not sure if it's truly me, but it, you know, it works for me for now. Um, I did put, of course, a little, a little bit of charm, charmy charm um, on the, on the uh, bookmark. 
and um, I this just arrived yesterday. I don't even have anything in it. I got the zipper pocket. Um, so far, really, all I've been um, putting in here is, you know, just this pencil, which I need to get a new one. This is just like a regular 2B pencil and um, and a pencil sharp. This is like a cheap pencil sharpener. And that's really what I want. I want this to be as simple as possible. I want this to be dedicated to drawing. At least this, um, I mean, my Midori in general, but just at least the, the insert that it came with. And I'll show, I haven't decorated it, but I'll show you so far what I've done in it. Um, I wrote back to basics on it and I put May 2017, uh, you know, excuse my handwriting, I'm gonna make it nicer eventually and, you know, decorate the cover um, eventually. Um, but I've just, like I said, I'm really trying to, um, to get into the mindset of like, you know, drawing is, it, it is, it's work, at least for me. I'm not, I like to paint. I really don't like to draw. I love to paint, but I have enjoyed um, drawing in this. So, and don't make fun. Um, I, I told you my drawing skills are really, really rusty. I was trying to capture um, my puppy Bizu <laughs> while she was sleeping, but she kept moving. And um, then I got a little, little sketch here of Mouser with his little patch eye. Um, and um, this actually came out really nice this is uh, um <laughs> i've been here now i've been in this house for a couple months now and i still haven't fully unpacked all my stuff and um, i had my jewelry packed away um and um i put on you know because i was kind of unpacking the other day um and i put on my ring and i just i don't know i, lo I love that ring i bought it in hawaii when i was living there um and i bought that um at a little a little jewelry store while i was waiting for my husband to come back from surfing um, and, uh, so yeah, I, I decided to sketch that. And so I, I've, I've just been making an effort to like, even when I'm just sitting down watching TV, if there's a commercial on, you know, get in a little, a little sketch. And then in the morning, um, I usually sit on the porch while, uh, Bizu, the younger one, my female, she likes to hunt and, um, she's always doing patrol in the morning. And I, I, I have to sit on the patio because I don't trust, I don't try, if you have a Jack Russell, like, I like mine at least um I don't trust them they will try to escape if they know like you know I mean I don't think they will but the very first Jack Russell that I had he was a big time escape artist like he knew how to open doors and um unlatch gates and um sneak under sneak over push things so that he could um you know jump over uh when he wanted to escape and I you know I don't think my two now they're so attached to each other that I don't think that they would, but you never know. When you have a Jack Russell, you can never let your guard down. But um, so I sit on the porch anyway. She's a morning person. I'm not, but um, or a morning puppy. Um, and I sit on the porch, and um, I'm always thinking, you know, I should paint the backyard. It's you know, all the trees back there are so pretty, and the pool is pretty. And um, so I've just been making an effort to you know draw a little bit while while my puppy's doing her little patrol. Um, and then, <laughs> um, that's like my teacup. I didn't quite uh, finish it. Here's the beginning of a tree. Um, and then um, this I just did today, but yet this I did yesterday. Um, this is actually, it looks, I kind of, the way it ended up, it looked kind of like, um, you know, like a little stream, but this is actually a street um near my house where i like to walk my dogs because it's so woodsy and beautiful and shady and um there's all kinds of like pretty flowers and trees and stuff and um i decided to sketch it and as i was sketching it i was thinking ooh, like this would make a really nice painting um you know and i could make the instead of the the street i could make it into a little stream so um so yeah so the i mean this little my little plan has actually kind of worked, you know? And then I did, um, my dogs were sunbathing this morning. I was about to call them in and, and um, you know, I, I, I really don't like for them to sunbathe too long because they've got such pink skin. I don't want them to burn. Um, and um, Bizu, was always, she always lays down for, she loves to sunbathe. And then Mouser came out and um, he rarely, rarely sunbathes, but he loves his sister so much. He does, you know, anything that she does. And so um, I just thought it was like sweet, <laughs> even though this is like, 
such a horrible drawing. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I do these exercises too, like where I, well, I used to, I'm, and I'm trying to, where I can time myself, like give myself like four minutes to like get in a quick, you know, image of something. And then this little um, squirrel here, <laughs> like angry squirrel. I told you all my animals, I do like, I don't have a lot of experience drawing animals, but anytime I do, it's like they look angry. You know, maybe he was angry because I interrupted his dinner, but I was trying to make him look surprised. Like um, on, you know, on this, this is actually um, from a photo that I took on this street. Um, there was like a squirrel like watching us um, as he was eating uh, whatever it was he was eating, some nut or some seed. And um, like I looked up and he looked really surprised. You know, I was trying to get, a, you know, like a picture of him looking really surprised, you know, like, what, what are you looking at me? And, um, you know, when I drew it, he ended up looking angry. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so far, those are the only drawings that I've done in here. And I've only had this for uh, about two or three days now. Um, but so far it's, um, it's, it's fulfilled its purpose. And then last night I made this little insert, um, just of random paper. Um, this is, uh, two pieces of cardstock, like scrapbook paper, um, glued together. Um, this was, uh, I, I got some new paint. This is from a long time ago. Um, this is like a cheap, uh, cheap, horrible watercolor paper that I use to um, test out new colors when I, you know, go shopping for new colors. This was a long time ago, but I didn't want to waste the paper. So I, I added that. Um, this is just like regular paper from a pack that I bought a few months ago. Um, this is a, a, a nicer, but still student grade watercolor paper. Another random piece of regular paper and then this is um i think mixed media paper i think mixed media paper or like just cheap i don't know from a cheap um pad notepad that i got a long time ago and then that's the the middle and so so yeah and i don't have anything here yet but i'm sure it will evolve and i'm looking forward you know to working in it but like like I said so far right now my main focus is just to draw in it and then I made that um so that's all that's going to go in there for now and um I made this um this little insert last night I was actually playing around with my sewing machine and I wanted to sew it but um I'm not quite at the point yet where I feel comfortable I think uh, I need to get a better like needle if I'm gonna be sewing in these thick papers. And so I didn't wanna break anything yet. Um, so I just hand sewed it, you know, pamphlet style. Um, but yeah, I made this last night. And so this will be, you know, for whatever I want it to be. If I wanna draw something, I'll draw something. If I want to paint something, I can paint something. If I wanna write, you know, a thought down, I wanna, you know, I'll, I'll do that. But um, this, paper and this is great paper I think for sketching on it. At first I thought oh it's too smooth you know but it's actually it's um what do they call that toothy? It's toothy enough I think for my little pencil drawings so um so yeah and so that's what it is back to basics I mean that is what I have named this insert that's what this insert is for it's for me to get back to the basics of drawing and um and yeah, so I thought I would show you guys this. Um, I, like I said, I'm sure it will evolve um, as I use it. I'm, I'm so happy that I got it. I'm looking forward to seeing it evolve, um, just as I've seen um, everybody else's evolve. Um, and uh, I love seeing what other people use their traveler's notebooks for. Um, I really, really would like to get another one for my purse. Um, for when I right now, this this fits. Uh, I'm using a backpack purse um, right now, so this fits in there. But eventually, I am gonna want to change out to a smaller purse, and so I'm thinking I'd love to get um, a smaller one, either the passport size or. Um, I think somebody that I follow has the the Sheik Sparrow Mr. Darcy. If you have either of those two, let me know um, 
or if you have both of them let me know which one you think um works better or works out for you better and why just um out of curiosity anybody who might be watching um but i'm also thinking about maybe making my own now um now that i'm slowly figuring out how to use my sewing machine so um so yeah so anyway um I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I don't plan to put a whole lot of charms. Um, I don't like, I, I like pretty things, but I don't like, uh, you know, fussy things. And so I think for now, um, I might just change this button. I'm not sure. I actually like it. Somebody on my Instagram um, was telling me that, uh, you know, when I had posted a picture with another button asking like, you know, which one looks better. Um, one of my Instagram friends told me that this button looks like something you would put, you know, on a book of spells. <laughs> white witches doing white magic spells. And so um, I was like, oh, yeah, then it has to be that one. But I have a feeling I'm probably going to get sick of um, it catching on everything. I think uh, just a bead might be better. But for now, it works for me for now. So, yeah, so... So that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about today. I, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope that you liked uh, my last video, which was uh, my uh, learning to draw and paint a hummingbird. I had a great time with that. It actually gave me a really cool idea for a series. Um, I have been really wanting to learn how to draw and paint birds for a really long time. And um, I've only ever painted a couple birds before. It was uh, for my father for Father's Day. He likes paintings of birds. And um, my his mother, my grandmother, her favorite bird was a cardinal. And so I painted him um, a, uh, I painted him a little watercolor of a cardinal and uh, also a bluebird um, for Father's Day. And um, that, uh, plus the little raven that I did, um, as part of like a challenge that I didn't finish out um, <laughs> um, those and then and then of course the hummingbird those are that's the only time I had ever um, drawn or painted birds before just because the whole idea of it kind of intimidated me um, but what I'm thinking is that it would be a great series to do um, and um, if you're interested in watching that, I've got that. Uh, I've got that planned. Um, I'd really love to uh, learn with you, um, and I think it would be great because it's like you'll see. Um, I, it's the first time for me. Even if if it's the first time for you, then let's learn together. And um, I would really love to do that. Um, I think that would be fun. So so yeah. So watch for that. I've also uh, got a seascape. I've been wanting to, to do this tutorial for a really long time, but a really, really easy seascape using only three colors, um, watercolor tutorial. Um, of course, I wanna decorate um, my inserts, so I've got that coming up. I have a really cool estate sale that I'm gonna be going to this week. I'm gonna try to bring you guys to that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, um, just because I might have to Uber, I think, um, I don't know if I want to wait till Saturday. My husband and I share a car, so um, I don't know if I'm going to want to wait until Saturday because they've got a lot of really cool ephemera, old postcards and stuff like that. Um, and I don't, ugh, I'm thinking I really want to go on the first day because I want to make sure that I get some good scores. And so I might not be able to film. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could film in the Uber. I mean, why couldn't I? Why couldn't I, right? So yeah, so I'll try to bring you guys with me on that. Um, I have a flip through planned soon. I've got um, my watercolor journal. Um, it's I've got four pages left in it, and I'm sure it'll fill up, you know, really, really soon. So I want to do a flip through of that. Um, I'm going to retire my silly book for a little while. Um, and um, but I do have a couple of things that I wanted to do in here um, before I retire it for a while. It's not finished, um, not at all. Um, but it's pretty thick and um, I think I need a break from it um, but I'll do a flip through that also and um, and I'm planning a swap so I probably I kind of want to show you guys um, what I plan to put in my swap so um, so yeah so I've got all that stuff planned um, and so I hope that if you're new to my channel that um, you will give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already um, so you can keep coming back for more <laughs> and leave me a comment 
because I love comments. And, uh, and yeah, and if you have any ideas about um, how I can use my Midori, how I can, um, or what I can do with it, um, or any other ideas of what you'd like to see on this channel, don't hesitate to tell me because I'd love to know uh, what you think. Also, um, I was kind of experimenting with music in uh, my last video just to see, um, I don't know, just to see how it would work. Um, and I kind of had fun with that. So let me know what you think about that. Um, I th I'm thinking I need to turn down the music though a little bit. Sometimes um, music on an art video can be a little bit um, distracting. So um, so yeah, that's one thing that I learned about that. I think I need to um, lower the volume. But yeah, so anyway, my dogs are getting restless. I need to take them for a walk. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again very soon. And until then, please go out and um, do something or make something that makes you happy and brings you joy in your life. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.